Hello friends, and welcome back to San Myshuno for yet another family to introduce you to. Living at 20 Culpepper House, we have the Pancake Family. Yes, that Pancake Family. First up is Joe Pancakes, Bob Pancake's dad, living here with his other son, Sam Pancakes, and his granddaughter, Lizzie. Now this is Sam, Bob's slightly younger brother. He is a sous chef in one of the top restaurants in San Myshuno, but more importantly, a proud dad to Lizzie, or Lil Liz, as he likes to call her. Joe has been dating his wonderful neighbor, Dolores, for about five years. And more recently, Sam has taken a keen interest in Deja, Dolores' daughter. So this family dynamic could become a whole lot more confusing in time. Well, hello there, my loves. Happy Tuesday to all of you and welcome back to Let's Build the World. Welcome back to San Myshuno as well. And welcome to a brand new family, the Pancake Household. Um, I really wanted to give Bob kind of an extended family. So that's what I've been and gone and done. And I've introduced you to them. And this is where they're going to be living. This big apartment here that we have yet to put a floor plan in as well. We're actually going to... I did say to you guys, we, I was going to make a floor plan kind of on camera. So you guys can kind of see my thought process and how we do it and whatnot. But that's what we're going to do. And they're all out here waiting for their apartment to be built. Bless them. They have got nothing um, at the minute. They're completely empty. Oh, hello, Deja. Oh, she looks fantastic in her workout gear. Yes, she does. <sighs> So, as I've said, I've introduced you to all of them. I absolutely love them. Lovely Joe. Look at Joe. Can't you just see loads of Bob in him? I'm absolutely for that. I really am. The lovely Sam as well. Oh, Sam and Deja out here. They're keeping it secret at the minute, but I'm wondering if it's going to develop a little bit further. Um, Lizzie, why are, you, why are you sad for love? Look at Lizzie. I mean, is there anything more adorable you've ever seen in your life? Um, so, just to go a bit more into the dynamics of this family... Uh, I reckon that Lizzie's mum actually died during childbirth. I reckon that is why uh, Sam is a single dad. I reckon that is, that's the storyline that I'm going. I know, more deaths, more deaths. But that's just me. Dramas, loves drama. Uh, I just wanted this dynamic where it was the kind of dad living with his son and his daughter. I definitely say Sam owns this apartment. Him and his wife, when she was alive, they actually owned this apartment. And... I reckon that Joe came and lived with them. Um, I just reckon he wanted to be back in his, his native San Myshuno. He loves the city. He was brought up in the city. So he wanted to move over here from Willow Creek. So that's the storyline, loves. I'm really, really loving this dynamic that we've got going on here. Especially the dramas with these. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Really am. Now, just to go a little bit further, there's two more flats or apartments up here that I will be furnishing soon. But my thoughts was, maybe after we've done this apartment, is to move on to this lot here. Now, I've had ideas with both of these lots. One of them we're going to make residential, but I'm going to do like a row of brownstone townhouses and have different families in each of them. And then the other one, there's still going to be a row of brownstones, but I think I'm going to go for kind of like a retail street, a bookshop, all of that kind of good vibe, a cafe. Again, where you guys can kind of like choose what you want it to be to be used at that time you know like we did with Perrin Street we're going to do exactly the same over there as well so just to let you know that that's what we're going to do right I've got nothing more to say I have covered everything I think so what we're going to do now is get into the build mode and figure out a floor plan for 20 Culpepper House and so here we are my darlings we are back in the build mode um, I'm going to make this a three bedroom place, a three bedroom place with maybe a big bathroom and an open planned kitchen living area. That's the vibe that I'm getting from here. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start off. I think what I'm going to do is put the bathroom over on this side here. Again, I, as I said, I do want quite a big bathroom because there's kind of three of them in this whole apartment. I just think that would be quite a vibe. So I'm going to put that one to there. I think I'm going to map out the bedrooms first. So I'm going to do the smaller bedroom here, which I think would be perfect. I might even, shall I come maybe out one? Just so it's a bit more of an entrance or that would be weird. Let's have a look. 
Yeah, that would be very strange. Very strange indeed. I just don't want the door to be kind of like there, you know? So what I might do is come down and make this a bit smaller here. I mean, we could give uh, Lizzie the smaller room. Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that just yet. Uh, and then a big master suite here. A big master suite for Sam. I mean, that's not too bad, but I, I just think that's a little bit too small. I do think that's a little bit too small. I think what I even might do is extend this out there. Make that a little bit longer. But I just hate the fact that there's going to be a door like right there. That's the problem. And this, my loves, is why I do not like show my floor plans because I question everything. A bit like Mulder and Scully, darlings. Um, hmm. Okay, I kind of fixed that. I fixed that by making this room just a little bit smaller. This one is definitely going to be for Lizzie. I think this one would be perfect for Joe. And then Sam gets the big kind of like master suite because this was or is his apartment. That kind of makes, yeah, that makes sense to me. Now, what I thought was giving them a little kind of closet. I think giving them a closet there blocking off this bit here this kind of then separates off the kind of entrance um with the toilet i'm gonna i'm gonna put like the entrance to the the bathroom there and then it gives us this big space here to have the kind of living and uh kitchen area i'm kind of vibing with that to be honest kind of vibing with it i also thought about putting the living and kitchen over here and putting the bedrooms on this side but I just don't think it would work with this. And it's sad, really, because I love these bay windows. But, you know, I'm kind of happy. I'm kind of happy with that. That did not take long at all, actually. And I think that will work quite well, flow through. So you come in here, got a closet in this area here. You can go this way into the bathroom over on this side. I'm going to put a nice big archway here, I think. And living kitchen area. And then access to each bedroom. Uh, door there. Door here. And then maybe just a door in the middle there, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. I am. I'm going to put a chimney or a fireplace in this lot as well. I might even try and get it in between those two windows. Because that could look quite nice, actually, couldn't it? Hmm. We'll see. So, we've got the floor plan sorted. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I think it will flow really nicely. What I will be doing off of camera is choosing some wallpapers and some flooring. I'm thinking this place is probably not going to be massively like uh outdated or like shabby i just think it could do with a little bit of updating so i'm maybe going to put some carpets in the bedrooms and stuff uh so that's what we're going to do so let me go ahead and pick all of the uh wallpapers flooring and i think the lighting as well and the doors and i'll be right back so the wallpapers flooring have all been chosen i've gone for a bit more of a neutral palette in here but as i said i wanted to just keep it just a little bit outdated with some carpet maybe just some colors that are a little bit off you know like the greens and the blues um i just think it would be a vibe to be honest so we've got this little entrance here as well i've put in this big archway door into the store cupboard and door into the bathroom as well now, the bathroom is definitely going to be a little bit outdated. I reckon that's going to be the first that they'll probably think about renovating soon. And what I did in the living and kitchen area, I decided to not make it open plan. It was just looking like a bit too much of a big space in here. And I kind of wanted that kind of outdated vibe. So what I thought would be better is just having them separate. So that's what I've done, darlings. And I think this is where we're going to start today. We're going to start on the kitchen and the living room area. I've already put up a curtain. The curtain fits nicely. I'm absolutely for it. I think we'll make a start in the kitchen and dining area. So I'm thinking I'm going to be putting a fireplace here. We're going to have like a nice little living room moment here. I kind of want to keep this thoroughfare kind of clear. So I don't want to put a dining table in it. I'm thinking about putting a dining table at this end and doing the kitchen up on this end. That's the thought process. Well, I think I might need to put the tiles there as well if I'm going to do that. And just keep some of that exposed brick everywhere throughout the house. So that's what we're going to do. Right, kitchen-wise, I have no idea. We'll go for this base game one. We'll go for this base game. I think this will work quite nicely, actually. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to be putting the oven there, I think. I'm going to put the oven there. So let's do... Hmm, yeah, we'll put you there. We'll flop you to there. 
I'm going to flop you, my love, to there. I think I'm going to put the fridge in this corner over here. I think that would work quite well. And then thoughts were, let me get to it. Let me just get these corner pieces in. Because uh, I do want quite a nice big kitchen because of Sam's job. He's a sous chef and he's up and rising as well. He's really adamant that he wants to open up his own restaurant one day. I think that this kitchen needs to be a good place for a chef to cook in, you know. So I'm kind of vibing with that. I've also got the idea of having, and this is what I was going to say, having a like a bar moment here with some stools. But I'm a bit worried about this space. I don't know if we need it or not. I might even separate off the kitchen and dining room area with a half wall just to give it some feeling of separation. I think I'm going to do that, darling. I think I am, but I'm going to do it around about here so I've still got enough room to be able to put a bin in as well. Uh, let's have a little look at what height we can do here. That's a bit tall, my love. Come on, Joan, darling. Stop making a fool of yourself. If I can do that to like there... Yeah, that'll work. And I'm going to actually use the brick on this as well. So it just looks like it was a um, a proper wall that they might have torn down or something. And now that I've done that, though, it's making me want to put the bricks to there. And what I'll do is put a post in here and put a spandrel across. I haven't chose the lighting yet either throughout the whole of the house. I think we'll do that by room by room just so it kind of like makes a bit more sense. <gasps> Oh, anyway, hello, happy Tuesday. I'm so sorry I couldn't get a video out on Friday, my darlings. I was feeling rough as a budger's ass. Budger's, budger's, rough as a badger's ass. Um, I've still got a bit of a cough, so if you see some funny cuts, it's because I'm coughing my guts up. But don't worry, it's not the dreaded C word. Um, I'm doing okay now. I'm getting better. I'm getting better as the days go on. And also, may I just say, may I just say, uh, if the door goes, it's because I've got a delivery coming. We've got Blue's food on the way, bless him. So if it does come... Oh, he heard that. <laughs> I, I heard him stir in the background. Uh, so, yes, if you see me, maybe the doorbell might ring. Blue will bark. You know the drill. Right, maybe this fridge here. We'll get this fridge. They've got quite a hefty bit of money. Um, I'm go definitely going to make them have a bit of money as well. I reckon um, Lizzie's mum... Le like had good life insurance and stuff and um left them a lot of money when they were gone oh it's so sad why do i always have to do sad things but i do i don't know why right i think here what i'm gonna do is do a corner piece there and then put the oh i hate that trim bit why do you have to exist oh look at it i might have to go up a little bit more with this wall then because i think that would just hide it a little bit more then uh let's go up that height instead because that will kind of help it. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind that. And we'll put a bin down on that side there. Cupboards all the way along as well. So, matching cupboards, please. Um, these ones. Is that the right tone? I mean, I never know the right tone with these because they... There we go. I was just about to say they don't match properly, but they kind of do. Uh, we're going to put you at that height. You're far too high when you go on the ceiling. Let me have a look. Yep. You all the way along to here, my love you here and a little cheeky corner piece one more of these i might even do a big boy here and get rid of that counter oh it doesn't really fit <laughs> damn maybe i need to bring these down a bit more then i mean that's fine let me see is that going to be weird no that's fine that's um the right height as well to be honest oh do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a one of these here do I want to do another one on the other side? No, 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 no. We'll, we'll keep it as it is. I'm going to keep that brick as well. Yep, that'll be nice. Nice separation. And we'll get the smaller cupboard on this side here. Am I recording? I am. God, I hate that. That dread that comes over me when I think I'm not recording. Oh, God, it's anxiety inducing loves. Um, And then we're going to do a extractor up here. So... I think maybe not one of these. I think it needs to be a wall piece. So maybe we could go for something slightly a bit older. Yeah, we'll go for that. I'm going to tuck that in though. Oh, it, not in my face, please. Up to there. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt, you know? Oh, yeah. I think that would work really well as a kitchen. Because it is a kitchen. 
I think I'm going to do the sink on this bit here. I think I'm going to put the sink so it's got all of this siding free. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use that copper sink as well. Where are you, my love? There we go. I just think that would suit the vibe in here quite nicely. Very nice. Okay, bin there, as I said. So let's get in the bin of dreams because that's the only bin I tend to use because it looks like a bin. <laughs> because it looks like a bin. And I think here we're going to flop up a little basic wood trim. Basic as me in autumn when I get my pumpkin spice lattes. Oh, I've had two so far. I could do with some more. Now, as I said, I want to get a span draw and stuff across here. But I think I need to have a little look around for a few bits. Just to kind of get the vibe in that I want. So, let me have a little gander. And I'll be back. So, that's what I've decided to do. I got rid of the full wall on this bit here. It just it was just looking weird with the placement of what I did with the pillars. Um, But I kind of like that vibe. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just think it separates off that area quite nice. And I'm for that. Absolutely am. Now, I pulled out this table here. This little farmhouse table. I just think would look really nice in this space. And I don't know what... I probably want to put a blind up here. I don't want to put a curtain over that window. So I'm going to put a nice blind up. Maybe the one... For, oh, I don't know, actually. This one could be a vibe in this... Um, oh, do you know what? I'm for that. We're going to flop you in. I might size you down, though, love. Because you are a little bit on the chunky side. And there is nothing wrong with being on the chunky side, darlings. Um, yeah, I'm for that. I'm absolutely for that. And I think just some nice dining chairs. Nothing too, like, over-the-top style or modern. Just some nice dining chairs. Maybe even these. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do masses amount of colour in here. Because we did a really sort of, like, colourful uh, apartment last time. I don't think we're going to... We're going to portray that in this one. I think this one's just going to be a little bit more neutral. A little bit more neutral. Now I'm thinking I might have to just whiffle this up a little bit up that way. They should be able to get through there quite nicely. I don't think they're the right chairs though. We'll go for these ones. These one here from Jungle Adventure. Little pop of yellow loves. Just to bring a bit of warmth into here. Oh, I think that'd be nice. Maybe I could put it that way. No, I do prefer the orientation of it being there. Definitely. Yes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle you over this way a little bit more. And I think I'm going to do like a, a little unit on the other side along here. I think I'm going to do a little unit. Let me get that little cheeky spotlight and flop you in there. And I think I'm going to do a nice like Welsh dresser or something just up on there. So it looks like they've got lots of like plates and storage and stuff. Yeah, there we go. That one there. I'm going to use this one here. And I also changed the orientation of the table as well. Just so it flows around a little bit better. And they should be able to get in there no problem. But I will make sure to play a test everything. Before I put it on the gallery. Um, I still need to figure out how to put apartments up on the gallery. I think you have to like knock down a wall or something. I don't know how to do it. I wish they would make that easier. It's a bit pants isn't it really. Uh, this area is screaming out for a plant. So I'm going to flop one in just there. A little fig tree moment. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. And I think here, maybe some kind of like print. A little bit semi kind of like industrial in here, but nothing too industrial. Just industrial vibes here and there. So maybe if I go to that industrial loft pack, we've got this one, haven't we? Oh, that's kind of, I like it in that color as well. But... Just have a look at the other ones because the other ones have got some like yes that one. <gasps> oh yes that looks cute oh i do like that in here is that a little bit too big let me just size it down and see if that's a bit better let me see excuse you Ep i don't get like the apartment walls sometimes because i sized it down isn't it oh uh, that, that doesn't matter they can go for a big one why not it's nice to have a big one every now and again isn't it um rude first off I'm thinking rug. I'm thinking a definite rug in here. Did that pack come with a rug? Uh, it's not really the vibe I want in here, to be honest. I think it needs to be a bit more. Let me see. No, that's not the vibe I want in here, I don't think. Especially not in those colours. I'm thinking just something a little bit more. Maybe one of the base game ones. There we go. Like that. Just nice and neutral. But still brings a little bit of a... Just something into this room, and I like that. Now, what I'm thinking is getting that plant that I absolutely adore and maybe flopping up into this corner. 
sizing it down just so we've got a little bit of greenery just hanging down from there i think that would really work yes i like that and also on top of the table i think i'll put a little plant on top of the table maybe something that lizzie made you know like one of the ones from parenthood now i tried the one from parenthood it just looked a bit weird so we're gonna go for that one there from blooming rooms i think that's quite nice actually i do enjoy it and i'm thinking this needs to be something up here maybe like some kind of like tapestry not tapestry as such but those uh beautiful little print things from uh city living like maybe this one here could work well over in this corner let me see oh i do like that in here yes yes we'll do that i think we'll pop up a few of these we'll use the red why not and i'll just plonk them all the way along so it just looks like they've got loads of oh you got even more snap points they're wonderful yeah, and I reckon they like to host, like, guests and stuff as well. I can imagine that from this family. That's for sure. Oh, nice. Well, I think I need to grab a bit more stuff out for the kitchen. Um, So give me two seconds, and I'm going to grab a few more decorative bits. And there we go. Just a few more pieces I've added in here. I moved the bin. I've put on an end piece instead over there, and I've put the bin over on this side. Clock, smoke alarm. I finished off at the top of the fridge with one of these cabinets as well. Um, are, you, are you at the right height? You are. Okay. Some spices for his chefing, his cooking, some pans, some knives, a coffee machine and a micro wave. I just think it looks nice. I think this room just looks nice. Smart. But do, do you know what I mean? Just still slightly dated, but not too much. And I'm kind of feeling that. Kind of feeling that vibe for in here. Oh, very nice very clean i mean it's a chef's kitchen it has to be so we're going to move on to the living area now i think the first thing i need to do is get a fireplace out so i'm going to flop out a fireplace and i'm thinking about maybe changing this water brick just so it looks a little bit more fresher in here so i think that's what i might do i'm going to use the same fireplace as what we used um or did we use that one I don't know. I think that was a bit too big. I think we use this this one here in Deja and Dolores' house. So I think we might use the same one in here too. Just so it would look like it would be... Uh, like this would have been a house. Or it might not have been. It might have been apartments. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just going off of me being an English person. Where lots of Victorian houses always um, were houses and not apartments that took very long to get out then didn't it right yeah i think that would be nice having a brick wall there i'm gonna do that i am now i need to find some sofas definitely i think what i might do as well is get a popcorn machine i think this family's uh movie nights are legendary so i think we need to get our popcorn machine for them so i'm gonna flop one there so they have got their own popcorn machine so I'm going to have to get a quite a big TV in here as well, I think. But as I said, let me go and find some sofas and we'll start flopping it around. These are perfect for in here. Just understated. A little bit classic. Uh, so I'm going to give them two sofas. But I'm also, I think, what I want to do is give Grandpa Joe his own chair. I think he deserves his own little chair. So I'm going to put it into that corner over there, I think. And I think the one that I've got in my head is this one. But uh, I'm just wondering if they're... I mean, it doesn't need to be a neutral swatch, but I'm just wondering if I can fit that in the corner there. Oh, I don't really like the placement of that for some reason. Maybe we could put it on this side. We could put it over this side. Yeah, we'll put it over here. We'll do Grandpa Joe's chair here with his own little table, I think, which will then give me enough space now to kind of move these a little bit closer together. And I can put a nice... A uh, side table with a lamp on top. Or maybe a big lamp on that side. That's a vibe. Side table wise. Again we're going to go classic. We're going to go classic. So maybe something like. This one here. From Cats and Dogs. Yeah we'll flop you to there. I think you would be perfect there actually. Gorgeous. I'm going to put a lamp on this side. And a side table lamp on that side. And there we go. One from Cats and Dogs and that one there from mm, Get Famous? Nope, University. Yep, 
feeling that. Absolutely feeling that. I think what I'm going to do is put Grandpa Joe's chair a little bit more there. So he's got a good view of the TV. And I think I'm going to do the magazine holder down here as well. So let me get that. There she is. I'm going to flop you down to there. Right next to it. In fact, I'm going to do you on that side. I'm going to put the table there. I'm going to put a nice little side table here for Grandpa Joe. And I think it just needs to be mm, something like this. Yeah, we'll go for something a little bit more ornate. A little bit more vintage. And I'll pop you down on this side here. Like that. And I think on top of there, just a lovely little plant. Oh, even you would do, my darling. Yeah, you look lovely. Uh, and I'm, I am going to get the remote out as well. There she is in debug. Flop it down there. That's for Grandpa Joe. Oh, for it. Definitely for it. And I think over here or here, I'm going to do a bookcase on either side. Maybe two bookcases. I could even move this door along a little bit more, actually. I could move that door along there and I could just do a nice big bookcase on this side here. I think I'll do that. We'll get out the fire poker and whatnot. The TV... And we definitely need a coffee table and a rug and stuff in here as well. And some pictures. So let me go and grab all of that and then we'll put it up together. So I've pulled out a variety of things that I just think this will suit this room lovely. We're going to start by putting the pictures up on the wall, I think. I just thought this one here was just nice for some reason. And I don't know why I'm using it in red, but for some reason it just fits in for me. And I'm vibing, so I'm going to go with it. Now this here was Joe's wife. This was Joe's wife. Um, so Bob's mum, Bob Pancake's mum, Fiona. Fiona Pancakes. Uh, I don't know what the law is for Bob Pancakes, but I'm just making up my own for this uh, save file. So you're going to have to bear with me. Now I'm going to put up this one here as well. This is one of their favourite musicians, a jazz musician. I reckon both Sam and Joe love a bit of jazz. So I'm going to flop up their favourite little musician over on that side. Oh, that's very cute. Yes. And I thought... Because Sam, I've gave Sam quite a high guitar skill. I'm going to give him a guitar by the uh, sofa as well. So we can play it when he wishes. I'm going to flop down the, uh, the firewood. I think I'm going to put the firewood over on this side. I've also put a TV up on the wall here. Big curved TV screen. As I said, their movie nights are legendary. And that is a vibe. I'm for it. Now, I did want to put this this box of throws somewhere. And I'm thinking, actually, what I'm going to do is put the firewood over on this side. And I'm going to squeeze you in at a jaunty diagonal. Move the guitar out. Flop you into round about. Let's have a look. In about there. Oh, stunning. And I'm going to put the guitar in front of it. The guitar's going to be fine there, I think. Yes. Yes, I think it would work well. Uh, I'm unsure about the colour of it for some reason. I might go a little bit more pale. There we go. That fits in with the aesthetics gorgeously. And I'm going to flop the firewood over on this side and bring in the fire pokers and flop them just off to the side of it here. That door is just verging on the point of not being able to open. So I'm going to move you slightly to there. Now I've put up this here. As I said, I want this to be a little bit outdated. So maybe this wallpaper's it got a little bit damp over on this wall. But we're going to hide it anyway, slightly, with the bookcase that I've chosen. and Just put it there. Just so, again, it pays a little bit more of a story that I really want to come through in this house. Um, and I'm for that. Really am. Rug. Using this rug here. I just think this little bit of pattern in here, but still keeping it slightly neutral as well. I just think it would work in this room. And I'm going to go and use the big parenthood table uh coffee table and i'm gonna flop you to there and it's making me now want to move you just so you're above the coffee table beautiful put that light there gorgeous now this is joe's pride and joy he loves his jukebox so i'm gonna flop the jukebox over into this corner um and yeah you he you, you will see Joe dancing. Joe, I've made Joe a bit of a party animal as well. So he does like to go out and get a bit, um, you know, squithy. Let's just say that. So I reckon he loves to dance and he's constantly dancing with Lizzie. Even when Lizzie doesn't want to dance. <laughs> I reckon that's just Joe all over. 
Oh, this is nice. I think to finish it off, what I want, I want to get a nice plant. A big plant as well. Maybe using that terracotta one, actually. This one here. Plopping that one on top of the table. Gorgeous for a bit of greenery. And then I think up here, what I want to do is just get in some more books, I think. And maybe like a few little trinkets. And there we go. I'll just put in a little wine rack here. Maybe with some whiskey. I reckon they like a little nick of whiskey every now and again. And I'll put that little pot down there as well. But I'm really liking how this just came out. I don't know. It just feels really welcome in this house. Uh, and I'm kind of vibing with it. I really, really am. So I will be back tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. I think what we're going to do tomorrow is finish this area here. So I think what I'll do is probably do this off of camera. And then what we'll do is come back tomorrow and do all three bedrooms tomorrow. So I'll make sure I've got a collection of stuff out for each room that I just think would work well for all of them. Uh, and we'll get this apartment finished this week as well. So quite nice. Quite nice little layout we've got going on here. I'm kind of vibing with it. Let me know what you guys think. As I said, back tomorrow with another part of this. Coming up this week on the channel... I have a spooky starter build coming. Yes, I do. And also a, a spooky speed build. That is what's going to be happening. Yes, it is. I'm live on Twitch tonight as well. We are continuing my Wednesday Adams build in The Sims 4 at 7pm BST if you want to come and join us. But if not, my loves, I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.